in the milk house was was really a oh boy. a busy time, and it seems like I heard more about the girls, Don and Betty, and and they're always washing the bottles and the cans and and things. And uh, I remember one time, uh, I don't remember if I actually remember it happening or just heard about it, but the separator that we used to separate the cream from the milk was out on the back porch there, somehow close to the, the milk room. And mom walked out one time and the separator has a bunch of discs in there. And one time that came apart, right, when mom walked out and a bunch of those discs flew up and, and cut her several places as they went flying through the air. And you remember that? Yeah, I remember that she was uh, separating. Maybe she was. I heard she just walked out of the house. It might have been a different time. But it might be. Anyway, it was quite a close to being a very serious accident that she had with the separator coming Well, up she was her. cut all the pieces. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, she had not carry them scars all her life. But these discs are all fit together and they're all numbered and you have to put them in order and they're sharp. They're just... Uh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, there's, uh, what did you say, 50? I uh, put them it. together quite a few <laughs> times. But then you got spinning it and somebody failed to put, tighten that top cap on it. They go down over it. A piece of metal, I don't know what you'd call yeah, it. Yeah, a shaft that, that spun. Yeah, and then they put that cap to hold them down tight. The milk go in there, and that's the way they separated the cream. The cream come out one spout, and the, the skim milk in another. Yeah, centrifugal force, I guess, is what yeah. the, the thing just really spun. <laughs> but it come apart when she was, uh, the way I was, remember it, when she was turning the separator. Uh, it wasn't a real hard thing to do, but uh, she did get in on that once in a while, yeah. but she got cut real bad, and uh, they had to wrap her in a sheet and rush her to the hospital. And, uh, Donna, I think, uh, put flour on the, mm -hmm. on the cuts and everything, stopped the bleeding, and they told her later that the mom wouldn't have made her. Mm -hmm. Donna hadn't have thought of the flour. But that was a close call. <laughs>